Today, I'm gonna see if CBD actually works. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Brown Panda here. This is CBD Balm. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but everyone and their mother is offering CBD right now because it's kind of legalized in all 50 states. I'm not entirely sure about the legality. I think federally, maybe there are some restrictions that are not enforced, but at any rate, you can get CBD. Now, CBD stands for something that comes from the cannabis plant, hemp. It's an active ingredient, one of many, but it's not the THC active ingredient, which is kind of what marijuana is notorious for. Now, CBD oil is supposed to be helpful for relaxing and chilling out, and CBD balm is actually supposed to be helpful for aches and pain. So I wanted to try this out because I'm kind of curious if it works. Actually, in high school, I actually worked part-time in a pharmaceutical company, and I remember capsaicin is one of the things that they made for, like, arthritis. It's kind of like a chemical from a hot pepper that kind of heats up your joints. And so I kind of wonder if that's what this is like. Now, this is kind of a special CBD balm here. As you can see, it says CBOD, and that's because John Snyder, one of the guys that I've been following forever, because he starred as Bo Duke in The Dukes of Hazard, thus CBOD. He's an actor, and he sings, and he's really had a long and successful career. He was in Smallville, you know him, and uh, I've just been a big fan of his forever. And he has his own line of CBD products, or CBOD, and I thought I'd pick this up because I like him, support him. Also came with a little sticker here. But you get this little tin here, it is 1.3 fluid ounces. It also has the 01 right there, which is the number that was on the side of the General Lee. And as you might be able to see here, everything is orange in color. And so he is totally embracing the Bo Duke, Duke's Hazard theme on just about everything. So I'm pretty excited. Now, if I just pull this off here, and looks like there's a little foam seal here. It kind of looks like beeswax. Wow, it's got a nice smell. This is called apple pie moonshine, and it definitely has like an apple cinnamon smell to it. Now, 1.3 fluid ounces isn't that big, and so you kind of get this small tin of CBD balm. Now, why I am showing you this right now is because I was out doing work today, lifting, carrying stuff, and my forearms are kind of burning. They're a little achy on both arms here. So I thought, why not do a scientific test and rub a little of this balm on one of my forearms and just see what happens. I don't know if it takes minutes, hours, days, and just see if one arm feels better than the other arm after using the CBD balm. So what I'm gonna do here is, and I'm assuming that you can just apply it with your finger, I don't see any other way to do it. It's kind of it's kind of waxy. It has a chapstick-like type of consistency, but as it kind of heats up, it comes off kind of like a melted wax. So this is my first experience with it. So I'm just gonna rub it there. I put a fairly liberal dose of it on there. It smells nice, that's for sure. Probably wipe it off my fingers, but I'm not getting any like heat sensation or anything right off the bat. It kind of feels like it moisturized a little bit if nothing else. So now, I'll just wait, and when I get some results, I'll report back to you. All right, let's finish our discussion on CBD balm. So it's 24 hours later, and the interesting thing about it is I just had no idea what to expect. And when I rubbed it into my arms, it left a little bit of a greasy like surface initially, but what ended up happening is that a lot of it soaked into my skin. It kind of reminds me a little bit of moisturizer. I actually thought it was almost like Vaseline where it stays on the top, you know, it's very topical, but it actually absorbed in the skin and so much so that I actually didn't mind going to bed without wiping it off because I didn't know if it was going to be really greasy and it would come off in bed or anything, but by the time I went to sleep, it had absorbed in the skin pretty nicely, so that was kind of nice. Now, about 12 hours after I applied this, I started to realize that this forearm here felt better, uh, a little bit better than this one. Now, I will say if you have just general aches and pains, you know, something chronic, things like that, that might be a different type of pain. For me, it was exerting my arms doing a lot of manual labor. And so that's just a situation where both my forearms had been under some stress and were going to need to recover. Now, I don't think the CBD balm is going to do anything for recovering faster. But what I felt is like, instead of having that aching, that sharp aching in this arm, I had just more of a muted... Uh, discomfort and so this arm felt a lot better even though this arm probably had hurt more to begin with and I'm right-handed so I used it more now I will say that the effect was 
pretty mild. Now I think you can get CBD balms in different concentrations, kind of like a Scoville scale on hot peppers, but it seemed to have some effect. So much in fact, that after 12 hours having it on my arm, I decided that, hey, why don't I use this on my shoulder over here, which was aching a little bit because this shoulder doesn't get as much of a workout. And so I rubbed some on here too, and that actually felt a little bit better after about 12 hours there. So 24 hours, this arm felt a little bit better. This shoulder felt a little bit better. Now I will say that none of my pains were particularly severe. If you have arthritis or joint pain or something like that, like I said, chronic pain somewhere, what I might suggest maybe is something that has a really high concentration of this. I would be interested to know if people that have really uh, severe pains and go very high on the concentration of the active ingredients feel that much better with it. You know, and since I've never used anything like a capsaicin or some other topical creams like that, I can't tell you if this is better or not. But I will say that it was pretty easy to apply. It wasn't messy. It smells nice, kind of like me. And it did seem to have some effect of just making my discomfort a little bit more comfortable. So if you want to pick up CBD balm, you certainly can. But if you want to support my boy, John Schneider, and get some CBOD, and if you're a fan of Dukes of Hazard, you should really consider it. But I will put a link to this and some of the other CBD balms that I found in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Beats all you never saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born.